All of Muller School looked like a crime scene Wednesday afternoon with all the caution tape, but it was actually the site for an active shooter exercise. Like the shooting we had in Colorado, where the guys walk into the movie theater and start shooting people, it could happen any place. So this is the type of training that gets up to that. If something like that do happen, the officers will know how to act, how to react, how to enter in a situation like that. A Homeland Security grant paid for about 20 officers to take the three-day course. With this um, active shooter, class is really for the first responders, the first police on the scene. We also have with us um, a U.S. Marshals from the U.S. Marshals Department. Also, a mall security is here also. It's the first time this particular course is being held here, and Wednesday's exercise is the culmination of their classroom training. The roughly three-hour active shooter exercise provides them with hands-on training. We have a couple of scenarios going on where we have some hostage in the room. And the SWAT will go in there and try to help them out, you know. Because there is a difference between awareness and readiness, every officer ran through three different scenarios while instructors followed closely to give feedback. I got a bad guy with a gun, I got a good guy here, I may want to get in here so that I'm between them and the bad ones. All in an effort to ensure our VIPD are ready for a situation like this anytime, anywhere. For News 2, I'm Erica Bivens.